I mean, if I was 17, instead of getting a hot car, right. I'd get a goat <laughs> <laughs> and go hiking with it. Right. All right. Well, good morning. We're taking a little trip today um, up to Colorado. And uh, we're going to meet uh, the boss of the mountain up there and do a little hiking. So you'll meet him a little bit later, but uh, actually very soon, from your perspective. <laughs> I got some driving to do. I'm in uh, uh, northeastern Arizona, and uh, we'll, we'll be going through some interesting country. I'm going to take a maybe a little bit more scenic route up into make a stop in Colorado Springs and uh, remain overnight there at my uh, safe house uh, that's uh, set up so we'll, uh, we'll bunker in there but uh, anyway should be a beautiful trip it's been raining this morning here I've been waiting for this all week so anyway of course it rains right right as I'm getting ready to leave Hopefully I can stay out of the rain tomorrow morning on the mountain, which I think we'll be able to do, but uh, we'll get her done. So let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lee with Charlie. sir how are you good to see you <laughs> good to see you how's it going great great uh you probably drove up in the fog a little bit but uh yeah it's beautiful this morning I know. you know you give me all this stuff about wet things coming out of the air and everything it's like well what i don't know what this guy's talking about <laughs> well that's colorado you wait five minutes and the weather changes. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, it's the mountains. It's really uh, tough to, to gauge. So. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay, beautiful morning. We're here with WG0AT. Yeah, and we're going to get cracking. <laughs> right up Mount Hermon, man. Let's get cracking, man. Yeah. Beautiful day this morning. Woof. Great drive. A little bit of fog, but not too much. It's lifted off to where we can see the mountains. I was starting to wonder if Steve was pulling my leg, you know, about there being a mountain over here he could climb up. But, um, and then I was thinking, geez, I feel kind of bad because Steve's probably already done this mountain, what, 50 times this year? Um, well, since, since Soda started officially, I've, I've activated it about 260 times. Oh, man. But it, it, there was a couple hundred times before that that I... You know, would build a little QRP rig and wanted to see if it worked. I'd round up the goats and up we'd go. And, uh, field tested from the summit. All right. 
right, we're at the uh, more or less trailhead for Mount Hermon. Steve is gearing up over here and uh, we're gonna go up the mountain. And I'm totally stoked because I forgot the remote control for the drone. So um, I'll put a link in the description for somebody else who's shot some drone videos off the top of Herman there, some beautiful videos. Um, and you can I'll check send you those the raw out. footage and you can cut it up. Yeah, or I can just turn the, I tell you, the other thing I could do is just turn the GoPro on and chuck it over the side. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get some you'll get some good aerial shots there you go <laughs> oh man brilliant move chris have a lot of fun if there's anything i can do just let me know yeah okay everyone appreciate it um Maybe later if we can't get a uh, signal or something and can't spot, we'll uh, um, twist your arm for a, a soda spot. Thanks for being there. PD0SOT in the Netherlands. WG0AT ascending Mount Hermon. There you go. There you go. Let's go, Sir Alpha Bingo and the group. Anytime you like, just let me know. I'll be on uh, XLF as long as I can. Have a great day. Enjoy the cool waves. 7-3. <laughs> That's cool. This rock is nicknamed Whale Rock. Because that's, that's the whale's head, if okay. you can see it. And this is the tail. Oh, I got you. So it's, it's kind of missing the middle. And I pointed it out to my daughters when we used to hike up here, and it's, it's like, they, we gotta stop and look at Whale Rock. Okay. <laughs> and the, the, it, the goats would jump up on that rock and then jump up on top and walk back and forth. And so it, it was kind of a... Memorable, nice memory. Yeah. But this is very much like my place, vegetation and what have you. It's a little bit wetter. We haven't had the monsoons that we normally have. Normally it's every day at noon, but not this year. Yeah, man, we've had what I call frog stranglers. <laughs> oh, yeah. I rather have it. A clean, relatively clean pathway that I can just, you know, step step at a time and right. see where my boots are going. And I kind of got used to the, the going up the side, so I take advantage of it, as ha other people have too. I imagine there's been a goat or two up this. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, there's a couple old smelly ones going up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna bring boo today, but I'd have to clean out the back of my truck. Boo, boo gets sad when she sees you're leaving her at home. <laughs> um, he's gotten used to it. I mean, I haven't had him on trail for, well, if, if I'm doing Mount Hermon during our weekday, like today, I'll bring him. But it depends on the trail I'm going to, if it's a really popular trail. Oh yeah. Or if it's a weekend, I won't bring him. Or if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll take game trails. Okay. Just to avoid all the dogs and uh, tourists. Right, right. It, I mean, the tourists, I don't mind. And they, you know, it's like, wow, is that a goat? <laughs> I mean, if I was 17, instead of getting a hot car, right. I'd get a goat. 
<laughs> and go hiking with it. Right. Yeah, and I'd have a little black book that thick called phone numbers of all the, the women that, that uh, you know, it's an icebreaker. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm stopping. That's a, little, that's a little kinky, people, but, you know, <laughs> that's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so that was on camera, huh? <laughs> or on audio? Oh, that's gonna that's gonna give me a couple more likes right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's it's a, a walking petting zoo is what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, I've got to allow extra time if I'm doing a, a popular peak, uh, uh, like, yeah, or a fourteener, just because I know that. It's you know it's going to be a, just a parade of of people and oh look at the goat yeah yeah if you haven't seen it go check out Steve's videos it's pretty hilarious just watching <laughs> well Steve did a great job with them but watching them eat your hat while you're trying to work CW or getting into your sandwich and you know <laughs> they're hilarious yeah my friend Frank um, gosh. I can't even remember his call, mental block. You know, memory's the first thing to go. <laughs> you can't remember what the second one is though, right? Well, I, <laughs> sometimes I can remember what the second one is. <laughs> Won't go there. Keep this a G-rated. Um, anyway, he, uh, his wife was operating. She got her license and she was sitting there operating one, and Boo comes up, I, th I think it was a rooster, came up and started chewing on her hair. Oh. And she was on the air. <laughs> and she just started laughing. <laughs> it was fun. But yeah, they do silly stuff, yeah. gu guaranteed. Um, They're like a couple of little kids, you know, just absolutely. getting into stuff and goofing around. And yeah, it's like my dog's the same way. I had a, a buddy pole I was using. Uh, matter of fact, it was up here. And I had probably 25 feet of coax and it was sticking up and I was sitting behind these rocks and all of a sudden it started wiggling and all of a sudden it went Poof! And I thought, what the hell? And here comes Rooster with coax in his mouth, <laughs> chewing on a piece of coax. And I'm like, oh, you knucklehead. Well, that gives you a couple extra dB, doesn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah, key down. So I, I, uh, when I got home, I took some bear spray or in other words, cay cayenne pepper, whatever it's called. Sure. I think it, it's a different than cayenne. But anyway, I sprayed that in a, uh, a rag and wiped down the coax. Oh, okay. And never happened again. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. That's a really good idea. And um, get on the air. That's awesome. And we there's a website where we can post an, uh, a spot mm -hmm. so that people know what band or other hands will know what bands we're on and what frequency and that way they can chase us they get points for it and we get points for it really and after you reach a thousand points you're considered a mountain goat that's, that's great yeah you know i was in uh my in-laws live outside of Asheville, north carolina and i was hiking over there on a bald they have, and they had a guy, that must have been what he was doing now that I think back on it. Sure. I wasn't sure what he was doing because he was setting up radio equipment. Basically. Sure. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Now that I... It is. It gets us outside. Yeah. You can get your geek on. Yeah, right. Sure. Get some exercise. Yeah. You know. Right now we've, we're getting our, our caveman on. Yeah. <laughs> Dragging our knuckles up this mountain. Exactly. <laughs> and then you go up there and get your geek on and it's all good. That sounds fun. Yeah. 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 So. And we, we use Morse code, a um, uh, little telegraph key to, to communicate with folks all around the world. Europe, there's a guy in Europe, uh, in France, that typically calls us. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's really cool. That is wow. cool. There's a guy. Christian, we're, we're talking about you, F4WBN. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's a graphic awesome. designer in HP for 30 years. Yeah, right, okay, cool. And I'm sneaking up on 80. Are you really? Man, Man. Whoa! <laughs> well, I do. I, I do body pump with about 25 women every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. He so. does 
body pump. Yeah, you're selling body pump. <laughs> my dad loves body pumps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep you young, you know? Yeah, yeah same will. Same setup. It keeps know? the juices flowing. Yeah. <laughs> it's my blood going before I even grab those weights. <laughs> wow. Hey, yeah. eight, my goodness. You look wonderful. That'll work the old thighs. Yep. Ah, beautiful. I don't know if you can see the mountains back there, the sun hitting the sides. It's, uh, it's 840. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Can't beat it. Yeah. Like I said, pack for the worst weather and well. Yeah, thanks for packing those rain pants. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed to make it not rain. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, this is this is how ninjas roll. All right. <laughs> Got a uh, have my KX2 and uh, a uh, random wire. Oh yeah, that, when I saw that orange thing in the bush, I thought, hey, that looks like a winder. And then I realized, oh yeah, just about ready to trip over his antenna. K6ARK special. There you go. Um, used one of his kits to uh, put together this. And fed he or uh, uh, random wire. He built a couple of them for me, and then I broke one. I was like, "Well, I can do this." So I had a bunch of his kids. I give it to friends and make them antennas. I got to make one for myself for crying out loud. There so, you go. yeah, I love this thing because you want to switch bands, change the frequency, hit the ATU, and go. There you go. You know, no screwing around with links and all that crap. Yeah. Well, I've, I've got an MTR5 with me today, so I I've okay got a, a linked. Or no, a trapped dipole or a trapped <clears throat> infit. Okay. And I'm using one of Adam's. Um, Perfect. Forty-nine to one transformer. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've, you've got a nine to one, I take it. Yeah, that's a nine to one. I built one of the ones you're talking about. I built it for forty for my um, MTR, and it'll do forty and twenty if I put a um, a small lead with a um, some toroids on it. Tunes up perfectly on 20. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, 20, 40, easy. Yeah. You know? Nice. Built another one for the QCX Mini. I, I love those antennas, man. They got a little custom antenna for everything. So. Indeed. Well, here's an official oh. QSL. Awesome. For, Thanks, man. For uh, our uh, QSL that we just had. <laughs> oh, cool. I got it. I got <laughs> That's too funny, dude. That's awesome. Thanks. I didn't. Uh, I didn't bring any cards. I feel really bad, but I do have something special at the uh, at the car that everybody wants one. So you'll get one at the end of the day. But what that ensures is that you're going to get me off the mountain safely. <laughs> like I said, you know where my car keys are. So yeah, yeah, and and uh, I'll find your wallet. No problem. <laughs> That's what they, you know, they tell you in, in medic school. If the if a guy goes down, he grab his wallet first, you know. <laughs> yeah, that way if he's got a medical card in there, you you get a heads up on you know what he's allergic to and exactly that kind of stuff. Right, you right. Know, like, you also have money for beer that way too. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Well. All right. Looks like you've got the cat's meow here as far as. Yeah, I, I really love my chair. I'm. I'm addicted to it, and it's, my back doesn't put up with. The one I got was uh, it's, a, it's a pound and a half. Oh man, that is light. One pound. Yeah.
God, it's a beautiful day up here. Okay, we're gonna go uh, check out the goat, see how's it, how the goat gets it done. I think he's over there hamming away on 20 meters now that I've finished with it. And he's running the special goat rig today. So we're gonna check that out. He's got his pole here. Just has a wire up under this tree, that's perfect. Looks like he's running an end fed um, with traps on it. So, we're about to see how the real goats get it done. Wouldn't you know it? Did I take all your contacts? No, the minute I came on this frequency, I mean, the minute my spot hit, this guy started calling CQ, but now he's, he left. <laughs> Generally, people wait until I'm calling CQ and then they call CQ. Do you log these, Steve, or do you um, just listen to them afterwards, or? Audio recorders okay. going. Yeah. Okay. That's what I figured. Yeah, then I, tomorrow morning I'll sit with a cup of coffee and, and relive the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, another successful uh, soda summit. Indeed, man. Yeah. We, we were cracking for sure. <laughs> yeah. We got up here and we got cracking. A lot of fun with Steve, WG0AT. A lot of fun with Chris in 0CLC. And N one. And one CLC. There you go. You got it. You got it. Um, so, yeah, great, great summit. Pretty simple hike up here to, to Mount Hermon. And I've always, I've always wanted to do this with Steve because he's up here quite a bit. It's like, you know, I need to get up there and, and, <laughs> and do that summit too. So I'm one of the cool kids now. I've done Mount Hermon. That's right, it was sending cool waves. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to learn more about the hobby, go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360. And uh, there's a multi-part series about activating, some stuff about chasing, and some other great stuff out there. And of course, all my other videos. Who wouldn't want to watch that? Oh, you got this is this is oh. bonus video. Bonus video. Bonus video for those of you that stayed and watched the video this far. You get a little bonus video. This is the W Goat Chasing Station and uh, Workshop. And it's a mess, but um, I know where everything is. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's where I last left it after working on a project. But KX2, um, or KX2, K2. K2, yep. 
Yeah. Awesome radio. So is this a station you uh, chase from? Yep. Awesome. So if you've ever been chased, not Summit to Summit, by Steve, that's what he was using. Yeah, and normally I've got a Browns Brother, Brown Brothers uh, paddle sitting right here, but instead I'm using this, this old Tom paddle, and that's because I loaned it out to a friend who's learning uh, CW, and uh, he's uh, learning how to send, because if you, he was going to start with a straight key, I said, you're going to be on a paddle before you know it. Right. Just go ahead and start with it. Right. That's the spacing and everything else that you really need to do. Yeah. What, why add that on to the learning curve? Yeah, exactly. Do this first and then move to straight key, I think. so. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. And so this is the other side of my hobby. <laughs> ah, got a few uh, harmonicas here. Yeah. Nice collection. And that's a that's a that's an old Paris set that W Zero R W built uh, originally, and um, every year streaking I, I I get that thing out and um, it's got it's a regenerative receiver. It's challenging to get on your frequency. Okay. To um, you can you can call CQ and then. Um, you touch the dial and it jumps. Okay. All frequency. right. But it's it's really fun to make a contact. I mean, go through all the effort. So it's, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you finally do make a contact, it's like, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of hurdles to get through to get, to get everything tweaked just exactly. right. Exactly. Okay. All right. Very cool. Very cool.